In yesterday's video, we looked at the Quansheng UV K5, a remarkable budget handheld that, when we took away the marketing spiel, still has some really cool features. It has wideband transmit and receive, it has radio to radio cloning, it even receives on the 4 meter band really well, and it has an airband receiver. Quite a few of you asked in the comments and on social media if the airband receive is any good, and I tried it yesterday, briefly, and it was okay. Now I have to clear up a few points first. This is an airband receiver. This is an airband receiver. This is an airband scanner, and this is not. So, quite a few radios have been released in the last couple of years that include airband receive functionality, meaning they demodulate the AM signals of airband with varying degrees of success. They have two major downsides though, the first being that if you store airband frequencies as channels, the scan rate is very slow. Airband transmissions are fast, and if you're not careful, you'll miss them, so, for monitoring the tower at your local airfield, they're not bad, but for monitoring multiple frequencies, a scanner is better. Secondly, some of them don't demodulate the signal very well. From my experience with these radios, they receive some transmissions really well, and others not so well at all, even from the same station, which is odd. So, let's look at three radios that have airband receivers built in, compare the audio, and see if they're worth it as a dedicated receiver. We'll look at the Sennheiser X8600, a dual bander that works very well on VHF and UHF with many great features. Then we'll look at the Xianpai 8800UV, another brilliant performer on the amateur bands, again with a really nice display and some cracking features. We'll then look at the Quansheng UV-K5, a really mind-blowing radio for the price, and the links for all of my videos on these radios will be below and at the end. And finally, we'll compare it to the classic Uniden UBC125XLT, the best low-cost scanner money can buy, in my opinion. We'll be monitoring a busy London control frequency and using the same antenna on each radio. So, what do you think? There's various levels of quality in the output these radios are giving us, and it varies from transmission to transmission. Some sound okay, others sound undecipherable. Airband is a tricky one to monitor and requires a good ear anyway, but I'm sure you'll agree the Uniden scanner is the best. The Sennheiser X was the best of the dual banders, in my opinion. The Xianpai came second, and the worst, I'm afraid, was the Quansheng, although I have to point out that when I was on the hilltop yesterday testing this radio, it did receive quite well. Maybe it's receiver overload from nearby high-powered signals, I'm not sure. 
I even recorded a different frequency which I'll show you now and the aircraft you'll hear was a quarter of a mile away from the shack on its approach into Manchester. I went down to Manchester Airport earlier today to film these tests on the tower frequency from the runway viewing park which is really close with exactly the same results but there was too many people around making noise and that coupled with jet noise made me decide to come home and perform the test here. I think if you're listening to one frequency close by some of the radios are suitable for the job but if you want a good airband receiver a scanner will always be the way to go. Let me know your thoughts below.